What's good, YouTube? It's your boys, Eric. Back at it again with another reaction video. Today we got a little mostly booth pack. Um, I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, I know here in Virginia, that means you got some. You paid motherfucking two, two for the ten, and you got some mid. They fucked you over, gave you some bullshit. I don't know. Um, I know little mostly is booming and all that. I did the, um, the fuck was that? Oh, I hate how I do this. I fucking forget the song names multiple times. Oh, pull up, pull up. I did that one a while ago, and I ain't expected to blow like it did, like with my reaction and all that. But he's on the rise, man. I can't fucking hate on him. And y'all said he was what, 15, 16? So that's pretty fucking dope. You get money here. You can't even hate on that. Why are you watching this, motherfuckers? Right over here, this little thing right here, I'm gonna insert. Twitch, follow me on there. I'm be playing Fortnite and all that. I know I've been fucking talking about it, but I get caught up in doing so many videos that I just, it's fucking difficult, all right? Like, because when people request it, usually I, and that's one thing I can't fucking stand. I don't, I don't understand it. I gotta take a sip for this before I can go into my rage mode. I hate when people say, oh, wow. I'm like, you responded back to me? Yes. You're my fucking fans. Y'all y'all like what I do. Of course I'm responding back to you. Who the fuck am I? And I and I said it to somebody. I was like, the only difference between me and you is I'm a nigga that got in front of a camera and started filming. That's the only difference. Look at me like I'm fucking, oh, he's this person, he's got 35K or whatever. Fuck all that bullshit. I'm a regular nigga. I sit here, I sip current royal, I fucking talk about how I'm broke. I'm in a regular white tea nigga. I'm a regular person. Don't don't put me on no pedestal. I, I don't I don't like that shit at all. I don't like it at all. I hate it honestly. And I try to respond back to everybody. And some of y'all niggas is watching you like, man, I'm skipping him. He talk too damn much. I'm fucking sorry, alright? But I talk with y'all because I care about y'all, you feel me? So Y'all mo know know this quiet all y'all motherfuckers. I love y'all. All right, let's get into the video. Yeah, someone in the comment section said it reminded me it was a uh, Lil Yachty P's and Q's. Time out, rolling it right Those are high tops. <laughs> I spotted those instantly. Motherfucking playoff 12s, man. I want a pair of them. Even though 12s feel like shit on my feet. I'll be honest, you go party. Hey, let, let's keep it real. I got a whole collection of shits. I started maybe two years ago collecting because before I was broke as fuck. I mean, 100% honest with y'all that don't have the money to get Jordans and all that. This is the real nigga. All right. Them shits fucking will hurt your feet. The only Jordans that truly feel good that you can wear for a long time, Jordan 7s, Jordan 6s, 5s are iffy, um, 11s, if you don't got a wide foot, pretty straight, um, and 13s are comfortable. All the rest of them, those shits will hurt your fucking feet if worn for more than two to fucking three hours, all right? Do not be fooled. You like, man, I'm just buying some comfortable shoes. Fuck it. You stick with them. Ain't no fucking hating, all right? Them shoes don't make you this amazing person where you like, I get all these bitches. Your personality does, all right? Keep that in fucking mind, all right? Just random. Someone's gonna be like, oh, Dow calls making them talk like this. No, motherfucker. I'm like this regardless. I used to watch a whole bunch of CD Flasher videos. Mm -hmm. 
Got me asking why you fake. We just bought a crib and we smoking on the lake. Smoking both back. I just had a roof back. Shit, my own crib when they ask me where the stool at. Hey, you know we drop this, so I don't ask you if we gon' shoot. They don't say I'm getting rich. Y'all yeah, nigga buy that coke, buy that coke. Smoking both back. I just had a roof back. Shit, my own crib when they ask me where the stool at. Hey, you know we drop this. Quick pause. I'm gonna bet that this was filmed by Lone Wolf. I, I don't know. I get that feeling because I've seen this off of Comethazine and one other person. That little shh, that style. Of, oh, um, Lil Xan. I'm thinking it's shot by Lone Wolf. I don't know for a fact. I'm gonna see to the end. Oh, it ain't. Oh, I was wrong. Mooka Vision, I think it said. Yeah, man, but, um, Mosey, Lil Mosey, I fuck with him. Interesting. I, I, I really don't hate, and I don't hold a huge bar for younger artists like 16 and 17. I'm not putting you at a heavy bar because at that age, you're, you're young. Your brain is still fucking mature and all that. Now, I'll say someone at the age of 16 where I was like, what the fuck? Nobody should have this rapping skill that early. That's Earl Sweatshirt, hands down. When I first heard him, I was like, yo, his wordplay, his delivery, all of that, that is way too fucking good for someone his age. And then really looking back, I'm like, yo, they used to talk about all this crazy stuff, but to put all that picture together, that takes fucking, at 16, that takes talent because he, he had metaphors, symbolism, all kinds of stuff. Like, he's fucking amazing with it. But with Mosey, he's pretty dope. The beats are, you could compare them to, excuse me, Uzi. I was going to say Yachty. You can compare them to Uzi, but I would say Uzi's focus is a little more on horns. It's a little more, like, on that style, as opposed to Mosey's a little more bass, where it's bumping a little bit better. And he's not going to high pitches and not ad libbed up a lot more. But regardless, at the end of the day, still fucking dope. Man. I can't hate him. If you like this, you want more, let me know in the conversation below. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time, peace.